Now the secret of my over the top miracle is the deep takeaway. The deep takeaway is what we see so many classic golfers do on their backswing. They suck the club back to the inside, lift it up, then swing over the top to hit the ball long and true. Hey guys, it is Thursday and today is the beginning of the Masters. I've got Tiger Woods warming up on the range behind me. I am so fired up, I just can't stand it. Now today we have a new addition in the Masters Over the Top Miracle Swingers and today's featured golfer is Fuzzy Zeller. Yes, Frank Urban Zeller won the Masters in 1979. I was a kid watching it on the couch with my dad and my older brother, Don. And guess what? It was Fuzzy's very first time playing at Augusta. He won it right out of the gate. Now, Fuzzy hit it a mile. He compressed it hard, just like Craig Stadler yesterday. And he's an inside OTT swinger, okay? This is what it's all about, guys. I did a video on the deep takeaway about 10 or 11 years ago. And that's what the beginning of this video was about. That's from my new video, the Over the Top Miracle Swing. I've known about the deep takeaway for a long time, but I never maxed it out. But once I started to really suck it back to the inside the way the classic swingers did, that's when I discovered how to swing over the top and bring the club to square. So I highly recommend you guys go to myswingevolution.com, pick up the life-changing video, the over-the-top miracle swing, or sign up for MSE TV where you get everything. First month is on me. Use code FREEMONTH. Change your game. Change your life. So guys, let's dig into... Fuzzy Zeller's golf swing. It's very unconventional, but it's highly effective. He won two majors with it, so let's dig in. All right, guys, as we revisit the 79 Masters, we have a crowded leaderboard with a lot of OTT swingers like Craig Stadler, Bruce Litsky. Boy, it seems like they're, everybody took it back to the inside and over. Now, Fuzzy Zeller was the eventual winner, and he has a, an extremely unconventional swing. And that's one of the things I really enjoyed about this period was folks were taught to take it inside and up, swing down on it, and you figure it out from there. Hence, you get all these unique golf swings that were very effective. So this swing is great. You can see down the line Fuzzy's action. Inside, up, and out to the ball. And he smashed it, just like Craig Stadler. Serious compression, long off the tee. Hit the ball right to left. But as we dig into this swing, we're going to see some very unique features of it. One thing that's very peculiar is Fuzzy gets so low, he rises through the shot. He lifts his head through the shot. He also measures the ball off the hosel because he sits back as he hits the ball. But Fuzzy's super cool, laid back as he gets ready for his, for his playoff with Ed Sneed and Tom Watson. Not a care in the world. So Fuzzy piped it right down the middle. Set up a good opportunity on 10, but nobody could make their birdie putt, unfortunately. So that brought us to number 11. Fuzzy curls that little draw in there to that difficult pin and leaves himself an uphill putt of probably about a dozen feet or so. But if we look at this drive at 10, we can see some very peculiar things that I think are instructive for our purposes. We see the ball lined up off the heel. This is very unconventional. The hands are very, very low. He's got a trigger move with an open stance. 
and we'll see the club back to the inside as I really like. Elbow lifting. Quarterback move I talk about. He takes it up to the top of the swing, slightly across the line. Many of these golfers, because they took the club up deep to the inside, they were across the line at the top of the swing. Bobby Jones comes to mind. There's nothing wrong with this. But you'll see with Fuzzy that he shallows it out and reaches to the ball. In fact, Fuzzy's almost like a combo between the old school inside and up and over swing and the leg thrusting that Jack Nicklaus brought to the game. So he takes it inside and up, but still gets that, that hip thrust towards the target. Kind of a hybrid, actually. Now this next swing is probably the best one down the line from this 79 Masters that we can see. Inside, up, and out. So we'll see he has the head very, very low as he takes it up inside. Another key feature of fuzzy swing that's unique at this time period is as he takes it inside and up, he's keeping that club very far outside of the hands. He doesn't suck the club head inside, but he keeps it outside of the hands. And then we see that club flatten out in transition. This is the lasso move. I have a video that I just added to the Miracle Swing section in MSE TV, a drill where I do this lasso move that shallows out the club. The fuzzy takes it down. He's got tons of space. Look at how much space he has between his left hip and his hands. That's about the most I've ever seen. He just applies the club head. Now for this next swing, we're going to watch it in slow motion with our dots. So let's take a look at P2. Once again, club head outside of the hands as he takes the club head up inside. We'll follow the club up to its deepest point before he begins going over. Very deep club going across the line vertically. Now watch this transition. How he flattens it out. And we can see that club is very far over the original backswing plane. So once again, let's watch through P2 to P6 down to Smashtown. So that's the swing of Frank Urban Zeller, better known as Fuzzy. He was an inside up and over swinger, and he won the Masters in his first time out. Guys, I hope you go to MySwingEvolution.com and pick up your copy of the Over the Top Miracle Swing. It is transforming golfers' lives, and I hope you hit them long and hit them straight. Do you have trouble slicing the golf ball? How many times have you heard people tell you, you're swinging over the top, that's your problem? What if I told you the natural motion of swinging over the top is actually the best way to hit the golf ball? Would you think I'm crazy? Well, I'm here today to tell you about the over the top miracle. The best part is it's a natural motion based on a throw. I work, what I worked on there was trying to get as far back as I could inside, tried to stay down through the ball. Do you think uh, you picked up some yardage since we've been working oh, on this it, stuff? On the driver, at least 50 to 60 yards. It's dynamite. It's crazy. You don't have to be stuck with an over-the-top slice. That's why I created the new video, The Over-the-Top Miracle. Transform your game with the over-the-top miracle swing at myswingevolution.com.